Prince Harry and Meghan Markle began their 72-hour tour of Nigeria today, as the Duke evoked memories of his suffering after his mother Princess Diana's death. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex met officials and children at the Woos Lightway Academy this morning, hours after their arrival in Abuja in the early hours. Harry spoke to a group of pupils at the school, which is supported by the couple's Archwell Foundation, about mental health, and referenced when someone has lost a loved one in your family and you don't know who to turn to or who to speak to. The Duke, who was 12 and his brother William 15 when Diana died in Paris in 1997 added that there was no shame to be able to acknowledge that today is a bad day. He also told the children, You can have it, she, Megan, can have it, I can have it. They can have it, every single one of us is likely to have it on any given day. The couple flew in together just before 5 a.m. following a secret reunion at London Heathrow's VIP Windsor Suite yesterday after the Duchess arrived from Los Angeles. They then boarded the British Airways overnight flight to Abuja, which was slightly delayed after the scheduled pilot went sick and a replacement had to be scrambled. The Sussexes, visiting Nigeria together for the first time, were seated in the first-class section of the Boeing 777 and were kept apart from other passengers by a curtain. It comes after Harry said it was great to be back in the UK this week to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The Duke had been in London since Tuesday to attend events relating to the competition including a Thanksgiving service. Speaking at Woos Lightway Academy this morning, Harry said, In some cases around the world, in more than you would believe, there is a stigma when it comes to mental health. Too many people don't want to talk about it, because it's invisible, something in your mind that you can't see. It's not like a broken leg, it's not like a broken wrist, it's something we are still relatively unsure of. But guess what? Every single person in this room. The youngest, the oldest, every single person has mental health. He said that people had to look after yourselves to be able to look after other people, and other people have to be able to look after themselves to be able to look after you, adding, that's the way it works. The Duke continued. And there is no shame to be able to acknowledge that today is a bad day, okay? That you woke up this morning feeling sad, that you were at school, feeling stressed, that you've lost a loved one in your family and you don't know who to turn to or who to speak to. All of these things you may even be led to believe are not for conversation. He said the Sussexes were here today to tell you that that is not the case. Harry continued. Every single one of those things is completely normal, it is a human reaction, whether it's grief, stress, whatever the feeling is. It comes from an experience that you have had, you can have it, she, Megan, can have it, I can have it. They can have it. Every single one of us is likely to have it on any given day. 
So if you take anything away from today, just know that mental health affects every single person.